everyone. I just wanted to show you my sweet corn, the ones I planted this year. So I have the white one. I've already cooked these, but um, this is pink and white and yellow. So this is all mixed. So the seed I got was actually pink, dark, sort of pink. And they've fertilized, or not fertilized, pollinated each other. And it's come up with all different colors, as you can see here. This is the white pure one. So I've kept this one for seed for next year. And then I've got the deep color one, which I'm keeping for seed for next year. So I keep all the small ones because it's better to leave it on the cob, get it big and good for next year when I plant them. So then I get those and it'll look like that. Just wanted to show you my beehive. I do it in little gaps because I've got my bee suit on and gloves. So this is the brew box and this is the honey. This is the flow honey. Flow hive I should say. So they're starting to fill that up. But they fill this up first in the bottom. I just want to show you this one bit where all the brood as you can see all the larvae is all in there honey is all through there and the smell is absolutely incredible Be careful and slow. Don't want to kill any. So I'm going to show you this bit. This is all full of um, pollen. It's their bee bread. It's inside the hive. Amazing sound, doesn't it? Everything looks good, nice and healthy. Just amazing um, amount of honey that's in there. That box is so heavy. I reckon at least 20 kilos, maybe. I don't know. It was heavy as. This is the queen prohibitor. So I'm going to pop this back on. So this bit goes in, stopping the queen from going into this. The Honey box. I don't want to crush any, so. And then I'll put that back on and we're done. All back together. And um, very happy with the size of the colony. As you can see inside the flow hive, they haven't started on the end one yet, but they have done through the middle there. So hopefully they'll fill those up very shortly. At the second hive. So I've just gave them a bit of smoke just to let them know that I'm coming in. Last time I checked, the top was empty after three weeks. So it's been about three weeks, I think, since the last time I checked. So I'm going to have a look now to see what they're doing. I can already see bees up the top here. Wow. Okay, they've gone into the top and they're starting to make cone. As you can see here. I'll pull one out and see if I can just give them a bit of smoke to tell them. And I'm coming in, not to worry, don't stress, be cool. Take out the middle one. Let's see what they're doing. Glued it together. Okay. That 
is awesome. Oh, as you can see, they're starting to make the comb. This is what I put in there, and this, they're building, already putting honey in there. Wow, that is amazing. Let's just put this down here. And I can get through to the middle one. We always start with the middle first. I don't want to pull it out and disturb them too much, but you can see that they're already starting to build that comb. Now that's only three weeks. There's a bee prohibitor down the bottom so the queen can't get up here. Queen bee. That is so awesome. I'm really happy with that. I reckon in the next month or so there's going to be full of honey. Really happy with that. They're doing really well, nice and healthy.